Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech and today we are checking a share mouse. So if you remember, recently I switched from my old keyboard to a newer one to the Logitech G910 and you can watch the video about it on the card in the corner. Now what is share mouse? So, while I had no keyboard and it was weekend, I couldn't use my computer, only my laptop, and I really needed to edit some videos which are more suitable to be edited on my main computer since it's more powerful. So how do I control my computer? How do I use the keyboard there? Now I had lots of choices, I could just connect from my laptop or my phone with TeamViewer or with any other remote app like that. I could set some application to remote control the computer from my phone, which isn't that good since the touch keyboard isn't that good as well. So in the end I had no choice and I actually used the on-screen keyboard, but it wasn't comfortable as well. So in the end I remembered that there was an app called Synergy. Now Synergy, what it does basically allows you to share your keyboard and mouse between multiple computers on the same network, regardless if it's a Windows computer, if it's a Linux or a Mac. Synergy works really well, but it costs money. And you do have a free trial if you never used it, but since I already used my free trial, I didn't want to open another account just for a trial. So instead, I tried to search for something new and I stumbled across the share mouse. Now the share mouse does pretty much the same with kind of pretty cool options. So basically you can remote your computer with your keyboard and mouse from one computer to another. You can lock your remote computer while locking your normal computer. So basically if I would lock now my computer, the other one will lock itself as well. And same for Shutdown, Hibernate, etc. Share mouse also supports Mac, but I didn't see any support for Linux. Now it does support multiple monitors if you need that. Settings are very simple, you just basically install the app on both of the computers and if you have no other computer, so if it's not a work environment that you need to separate a few computers from others, you don't need to set any passwords, anything just works flawlessly. And let me just show you, so let's go for a moment to just, as you can see now uh, on my main computer, that's the desktop computer. And if I'll switch down to the laptop, as you can see, it's XPS 13. So you actually see me now just moving from one computer to another. And that's not the only thing that we can do. So basically I want to go back now. If I'm here and I'll press the start, for example, on my keyboard, you can see that I did press it on the main computer. If I'll move with my mouse to the bottom screen, and I'll press start again, you can see that I'm controlling the laptop. So that's pretty much amazing and it works without almost no delay at all. It was working so flawlessly that the first time I tried it, I actually launched a game and played a game on my main machine from the keyboard of my laptop and it worked without any problem. And for that chair mouse, you receive a huge thumbs up. Some of the features on ShareMouse aren't actually free, but it seems that I still can use them. I think for a trial it sometimes shows me that I will have to pay for that. And maybe I actually will since I really love that app. Seriously, it works really, really well. And at least for that weekend that I didn't have the keyboard, this worked for me really, really flawlessly. Now, let's try something. Let me write demo stack. And let's copy that. So basically I press Control C. And now I'll go to the second computer, to the laptop, and here I'll press paste. So, and here it is. So basically you can copy paste from one screen to another, from one computer to another, without any issue. But that's not all. You can actually also go to, let's say, to a folder. Let's open here a folder. So I basically pre-created an empty folder and I'll go back to this computer and let's see I have here my Demostech logo and basically I'm dragging it just to the bottom of the screen and as you can see I'm continuing to drag it and as you can see the logo is here so let's just launch it for a moment 
and here it is. So as you can see, we can drag and drop files as well. And this also works really well. So again, share mouse, thumbs up. Now, things are very cool for that app. Let's try something that I'm not really sure that always works. I'm going to lock my main machine. As you can see, the laptop will be locked in a moment as well. It shows you a small screen that it tells you it will be locked in a moment, and here it is. Now, it doesn't obviously work for unlocking, but again, I can use my mouse and keyboard from my main machine on my laptop to unlock it. And let me try to jump into the settings of the app, but for this, I will actually, you know what, I'll actually jump to the screen and then show you it there. But before I do that, I'll go and show you something more. So, there's something called Monitor Manager, and as you can see, once you open it, you can set the monitor's position. And it will also tell you which one is A and which one is B, so obviously the laptop currently is B, as you can see in the center. Anyway, let's jump to the settings, as you can see you have an upgrade button here. Let's jump to the settings. So this is the main settings window of the share mouse. And as you can see, most of the options are in demo. Again, the main feature is basically being able to move from one computer to another with your main keyboard and mouse and nothing else. But it does give you many other features and they work really flawlessly in this demo. So, let's just go through them just to see what are the options. Now, some of them I have no idea what they even do, like those two. Some of them are more clear, but again, I didn't try everything. Basically, whatever I tried, I already showed you. You can basically prevent the switching if you're in a full screen program window. For example, if you are watching a video or in a game, you don't want accidentally to switch to the other screen. So that's a cool thing. Same for maximum sized window. In monitor corners is also a very good feature. So for example, if I'll go to the start and I actually miss it and go too much further, I will go to my other monitor and that's not what I wanted. And also you can prevent it without being pressing some key or you can quick jump with, uh, for example, in my case, I made shift control Q. I don't know, it looked more suitable for me, but you can change it to whatever you want here. It's very comfortable. Now let's go to the next exchange. So as you've seen, I already dragged and dropped files and clipped road synchronization is very good. But keep that in mind that you will need to press Ctrl V and not as I've been doing, left click and paste. It doesn't work all the time for some reason. I believe it's to prevent overwriting some clipboard issues and stuff like that, I'm not really sure. Now you can sync remote events on the computers, as I've said, you can lock the PC, you can launch screensaver, unlock login, I'm not really sure if you can actually unlock two computers at once. Never tried that. Uh, if you actually use that, so let's try that. Oh, so it will ask you for your password and this is how you basically allow the login and the unlock. Let's continue to network. Security, so as I've said, you can lock it with password. In case you have multiple environments in your network, you can lock between two machines, etc. And they won't interfere each other. Online updates, obviously, you can enable that, disable, whatever you choose. Local network configuration, um, you know, it's just which ports it uses, etc. You can also find free ports if you want, that's awesome. So if we'll go to clients, you can see that it's already found my XPS, obviously, and you can sort of add manually more computers if needed. One thing to note, the free version allows only up to two computers, and there is a version that allows you up to nine computers, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go to MISC. Oh, that one I didn't know. You can press escape two times to cancel remote control. This is awesome, so in case you accidentally remote control in another computer, you can press twice escape and you'll be out of it. You can also sort of set manual control, I'll delete option to a remote computer so it will not interfere with your own computer. That's good. And wow, I've never seen that. You can actually dim in active monitor. That's cool. You can control the scroll speed translation now. That's also good since when I move to my laptop, the scroll is kind of slow and that would probably help me. Now, show tray notification you never want to disable. 
otherwise you wouldn't find it up that easily. And invert scroll direction, if you are using a Mac, it would probably be useful for you. So in short, ShareMouse allows you to use your main mouse and keyboard on another computer that is in the same network as you are. This is a very good app if you have your keyboard, for example, broken and it might save your life for the weekend, as it did for me. This app is available for free for the main usage and you have much more options if you buy additional license. As always, I'll provide a link to this site on the description of the video so you can check it out yourself. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.